The New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is already blaming the heavy smoke on climate change. She's calling for the Green New Deal. Joining me right now is Oklahoma Senator, member of the Senate Armed Services, Environment and Public Works Committees, Mark Wayne Mullen. Senator, thanks very much for being here. Before we Absolutely. get to the column that you wrote for FoxNews.com, you're on the Environmental Committee. Let me just ask you, does this have anything to do with climate change? Absolutely not. If you study forests, especially healthy forests, you'll see that <clears throat> nature naturally burned itself off about every 11 years with natural uh, disaster fires. Uh, and, and so this is a forest fire. But AOC, she's not a real legislator. She's an emotional legislator that uh, throws out these ideas with no practical solution. And, and it's, it's really sad that they would take advantage of a situation like this. But this doesn't have to do with pollution. If you really want to talk about pollution anyways, let's talk about uh, a greenhouse emissions that's been cut by 78 percent just by industry it, it itself over the last 50 years. But forest fires, for some reason, this is where this environmental justice thing moves to and immediately yeah. start blaming forest fires on environment and climate change. And it's an absolute joke. How about go study the forest itself and it'll tell you its own history? Well, it's not just AOC, by the way. Corinne Jean-Pierre also yesterday said, well, this is the sure. reason Joe Biden is all in on climate change and his agenda. You recently wrote a column for FoxNews.com about Biden's green energy policies on our electric grid and how bad things could get. Your reaction to, to that and uh, why this administration is all in on this green agenda. Well, they, they're not, as I said before, they don't speak with practical solutions. First of all, our, our national grid system, even if we decided to, to start um, upgrading it right now, it would take seven years for one project just to be permitted underneath this current administration's regulatory environment. Not to mention they would have lawsuits filed against them from their environmental justice groups that support them to keep these grids from actually being built out, which is exactly, what, which is exactly what's happening in California with PG&E. They can't permit their grid system to upgrade it. And if you're going to actually move towards the way that the, the administration and AOCs of the world want to move us to, to total electric, you would have to almost triple the size of our electric grid, which, one, we can't get done, and, two, we don't have the power system to do it if you eliminate all fossil fuel energy out there. So it's just, it, it, it's, un, it's actually almost laughable but sad that they're selling the American people on a bill of goods that they know themselves isn't practical to get done. Unbelievable. Meanwhile, the White House is trying to take a post-Title 42 victory lap, claiming that President Biden's border policies are a success. Watch this. So uh, all unlawful border crossing, as I mentioned yesterday, are down. They're down by 70 percent uh, since the president enacted his plan after Title 42 was lifted uh, early uh, or mid-May. And so we're addressing the challenges, as we have done. We, we've done that through deterrence. We've done that through diplomacy. And we've done that through enforcement. And so, again, the plan that he's doing is, is working. The senator, so is it working? You've been to the border plenty. No, no, and, and they're, they're deceiving the American people again here. They're saying that it's success because they're down to only 5,000 border crossings, illegal border crossings a day. Now, keep in mind, underneath the Obama administration, when we hit 1,000 illegal border crossings a day, they consider that a crisis. So they're saying that 5,000 a day is a success. What an absolute joke. The fact is we've apprehended 82 terrorists since, uh, on, the, on the border since Biden Biden's been in office. To keep that in perspective, underneath Trump, there was only 11 during his entire presidency. Uh, this is an absolute crisis that's going on, and they're trying to ignore it, which is why Governor Stitt and Governor Nome from South Dakota has, uh, has sent a border uh, or National Guard to the border because this is affecting all of our states. We've all of a sudden became all border states because of the fentanyl crisis and the drug and the drug trafficking and the human trafficking that is moving into our states because it's literally over overwhelming our, border, our true border states. Unbelievable. And, and by the way, this smoke situation throughout the Northeast, that's just going to represent another pressure for the economy. We're just getting headlines yes. from the FAA. Uh, LaGuardia inbound flights are now grounded. Uh, the FAA says that the halted flights are from the Northeast Ohio, the Mid-Atlantic. Uh, they're all bound for LaGuardia, and they are being halted because of this low visibility. Uh, we'll see what that means and whether or not this uh, creates another added pressure on an economy that is teetering. 
uh, certainly slowing down considerably, potentially hitting recession later in this year. Senator, thanks very much for being here this morning. 